Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, I figured that I would do a, um, I guess you could say like daily makeup look or my daily makeup routine. I am a stay at home mom or a work from home mom. So it's usually always something very, very minimal, kind of just to make my face look a little bit alive and not dead. So I literally use like three products, but I'm gonna show you guys what I use. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. So I first want to show you guys what I put on my face um, as far as like washing it and moisturizing and all that. I am not into skincare or makeup or anything like that at all. I actually have pretty, um, not bad skin. It's actually gotten a lot better within the last week or so, but um, I have combination skin, so oily and dry and certain products that have like salicylic acid and things like that, I can't use them. So, to wash my face, what I use is the Dove Sensitive. Obviously, I already have an open bar in the shower, but I wanted you guys to see the exact one that I use, so it's this one. And I do, I have started double cleansing, which I think has really, really been helping my skin. Um, and I only use this at night because in the morning, I just wash my face with water. So at night, what I do is a double cleanse of this, and I exfoliate every other day or every three days. Um, when I exfoliate, I use this. So this is what I use to exfoliate. Um, I don't do this every day, but I do do it every like three days or so. So double cleanse with this, exfoliate with that, and when I get out of the shower in the evening, instead of a moisturizer, what I use is my soothing gel. And this really, really helps to keep my skin moisturized. It doesn't make it feel oily. It also helps a lot with my um, acne marks. So yeah. So this is what I use. I use the Dove Sensitive and this at night. And then in the morning, literally all I do is just rinse my face off with water and moisturize with my Even Tone Fade Cream from Palmer's. And that's what I use for my skin. So let's get into the makeup. So I am going to be using the Bye Bye Foundation Full Coverage Moisturizer by It Cosmetics. This is in the shade, I think it's called Rich. And yeah, this is my shade. And like I said, I'm not into makeup at all. So literally all I do is take a little bit Actually, that is a lot. I accidentally took too much. But I put it on my finger. I go dab, 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 dab. A little bit on my neck. And because it's a moisturizer, I like to just put it in. Put it on my skin. I'm sure that anyone who's into beauty right now is cringing at this. But be completely honest this is just what I do all right so once we've completed that it does leave my fingers a little bit tinted so I usually go ahead and just wash my hands Okay, so this is what it looks like, to be honest. I think it does a really, really good job. It is very, very light, and like I said, I have oily skin, and this does not make my skin any more oily. It doesn't make it look oily, it doesn't feel oily. Like, it, it's so light and so comfortable to wear, and I have fallen in love with this product. So, I usually go ahead and put on some lip balm or some chapstick. This is just the Grove Collaborative brand. This is the Mint and Argan, so good. And then these are my go-tos, honestly. Very, very simple. I use the e.l.f. mascara and the e.l.f. brow brush or brow pencil in the shade black. And that's basically it. So I'll go ahead and curl my lashes a bit.
All right, so sometimes I want to go in and kind of just like spread them out a little bit more. So I'll go in. I use this mainly for the brush because I don't have any more product in here, but it's the MAC in Extreme Dimension 3D. And I just love, love the brush of it. Look at the bristles on the brush. I don't know if you can focus on that, but see how they're like very, like it's not felt, it's like plastic. So I really just like, the way that the bristles on this brush help to spread out my lash. Alrighty, and lastly, it is my brows. And I just go ahead and do a little bit. I usually I usually only do um, like my brows so that I can lengthen them a bit. I don't really know how to do brows. I just know that I wish they were longer. So that's kind of my main emphasis when I do my brows is to kind of just make them a little bit longer than what they are. And that's it. That is my daily makeup routine as a stay-at-home mom. And then usually for the hair, I'll just go ahead and either leave it like this, toss it around, put it up in a bun, do something, but yeah, that's it. And then sometimes if I'm in the mood, I'll go ahead and put on some bronzer, but I'm not really in the mood right now because I don't plan on doing anything with this quarantine. We are currently in the middle of a health crisis here in the US or actually all around the world um, with the coronavirus going around. So since I'm, the, I'm not leaving my house, I am just gonna stay like this. And it helps me feel just kind of put together. Along with this, I do get dressed and it really does help me with my day. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, leave a comment down below because those always help me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.